Welcome to the Transitions Daily Podcast. Transitions Daily is an online recovery group that offers a daily distribution of popular recovery resources accompanied by a secret Facebook group for discussion. We hope you enjoy today's readings. This is Transitions Daily for October 6th, read by Cindy L. from Fort Worth, Texas. AA thoughts for the day. Self-will. The first requirement is that we be convinced that any life run on self-will can hardly be a success. On that basis, we are almost always in collision with something or somebody, even though our motives are good. Most people try to live by self-propulsion. Each person is like an actor who wants to run the whole show, is forever trying to arrange the lights, the ballet, the scenery, and the rest of the players in his own way. If his arrangements would only stay put, if only people would do as he wished, the show would be great. Everybody, including himself, would be pleased. Life would be wonderful. Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 60 to 61. Thought to consider. Rule 62. Don't take yourself too damn seriously. Acronyms. Pride. Pretty ridiculous individual directing everything. Just for today. Incredible things from two employers. Your man has probably been trying to conceal a number of scrapes, perhaps pretty messy ones. They may be disgusting. You may be at a loss to understand how such a seemingly above-board chap could be so involved. But these scrapes can generally be charged, no matter how bad, to the abnormal action of alcohol on his mind. When drinking or getting over a bout, an alcoholic, sometimes the model of honesty when normal, will do incredible things. Afterward, his revulsion will be terrible. Nearly always, these antics indicate nothing more than temporary conditions. Alcoholics Anonymous, pages 140 to 141. Daily Reflections, Facing Ourselves. And Fear Says, You Dare Not Look, 12 Steps and 12 Traditions, page 49. How often I avoided a task in my drinking days just because it appeared so large. Is it any wonder, even if I have been sober for some time, that I will act that same way when faced with what appears to be a monumental job, such as a searching and fearless moral inventory of myself? What I discover after I have arrived at the other side, when my inventory is completed, is that the illusion was greater than the reality. The fear of facing myself kept me at a standstill, and until I became willing to put pencil to paper, I was arresting my growth based on an intangible. As Bill sees it. The Fine Art of Alibis The majority of AA members have suffered severely from self-justification during their drinking days. For most of us, self-justification was the maker of excuses for drinking and for all kinds of crazy and damaging conduct. We had made the invention of alibis a fine art. We had to drink because times were hard, or times were good. We had to drink because at home we were smothered with love or got none at all. We had to drink because at work we were great successes or dismal failures. We had to drink because our nation had won a war or lost a peace, and so it went on ad infinitum. To see how our own erratic emotions victimized us often took a long time. Where other people were concerned, we had to drop the word blame from our speech and thought. 12 and 12, pages 46 to 47. Big book quote. We know that while the alcoholic keeps away from the drink, as he may do for months or years, He reacts much like other men. We are equally positive that once he takes any alcohol whatever into his system, something happens, both in the bodily and mental sense, which makes it virtually impossible for him to stop. The experience of any alcoholic will abundantly confirm this. Alcoholics Anonymous, There is a Solution, page 22. 24 hours a day. AA thought for the day. Is it my desire to be a big shot in AA? Do I always want to be up front in the limelight? Do I feel that nobody else can do as good a job as I can? Or am I willing to take a seat in the back row once in a while and let somebody else carry the ball? Part of the effectiveness of any AA group is the development of new members to carry on to take over from the older members. Am I reluctant to give up authority? Do I try to carry the load for the whole group? If so, I am not being fair to the newer members. Do I realize that no one person is essential? Do I know that AA could carry on without me if it had to? Meditation for the day. The unseen God can help to make us truly grateful and humble. 
Since we cannot see God, we must believe in him without seeing. What we can see clearly is the change in a human being when he sincerely asks God for the strength to change. We should cling to faith in God and in his power to change our faith in God and in his power to change our ways. Our faith in all unseen God will be rewarded by a useful and serviceable life. God will not fail to show us the way we should live. When in real gratitude and true humility, we turn to him. Prayer for the day. I pray that I may believe that God can change me. I pray that I may be always willing to be changed for the better. Hazelden Foundation, P.O. Box 176, Center City, Minnesota, 55012. I'm Cindy L., and I'm an alcoholic. We hope you enjoy today's readings. You can also receive Transitions Daily via email and discuss today's readings in our secret Facebook group. So for more information, go to dailyaaemails.com today. Other than the 24 hours a day reading, unless otherwise specified, all quotes copyright Alcoholics Anonymous World Services, Inc., 1952, 1957, 1967, 1973, 1975, 1976, 1980, 1981, 1984, 1985, 1988, 1990, or 2001.